Sean the Man, got Mike Shadona in the building. Look at all the people outside. Holy smokes. Also, Lincoln Park has his project out right now, Fort Minor. We're going to talk about that. Um, but first, big show last night. How was the show? Big show. It was a good time, man. We had a good time. We uh, Actually, it was funny. We were in a really good mood. I was just telling you, we had um, we had a lot of fun yesterday. We actually played a few pranks on each other. Like, our, our first of all, our DJ was wasted. He was. You guys were there last <laughs> They're laughing. They're laughing because Cheap Shot was out of his mind. And then, um, but I had played a prank on our tour manager pretending that I was just completely out of it, like stumbling around backstage like oh man i don't know if i can do this show as soon as i got to the steps i'm like all right jim let's do this <laughs> like like usual suspects with the limp oh man it was so funny it was exactly like that wicked man the show was hype a lot of you guys went to the show last night yes okay um now this project right here yeah. oh these people outside make a lot of noise too um now this project you've been writing for this project forever actually yeah it's it's a funny thing that um ever since that collision course project with jay-z um, I, it kind of got me thinking about where I came from, you know, what I used to do. Before Linkin Park, I used to do production, and, and I used to rap over my beats, and, and, and you know, I, used, I was hanging out with Styles of Beyond at that time, which is, they're friends of mine, um, and they're a rap group, obviously. Um, and I wanted to get back to those roots, you know? And so the music, just started, it, and the music started coming out, and I got together with those guys, and it ended up kind of being... Fort Minor being what it is. Actually, the funny thing, if you look at the uh, the, the credits, like the, the people who are on the record, like from Black Thought is on the record, yeah. Common, Common, John, John Legend, Legend is on the record, and Jay-Z, executive producer. Right? Um, one thing about it is that I, I basically limited the cameos to only people that I was already friends with. You know what I mean? Mr. Han, you hooked up with him yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From, from Lincoln Park, he's on there. Um, and there's a few other people who... Um, people may not know so much about but I basically did that because it is a more personal individually personal record and I thought that in order to like take it there I needed to just stick to people who kind of know me okay and we can you know talk on the same level like that and what were you able to convey with this album that say you couldn't convey with the Linkin Park album with, with Linkin Park lyrics generally I mean first of all this is a hip-hop record yeah. so that's one thing that makes it different but with the lyrics I'd say Linkin Park lyrics are generally more universally personal you know when we write a, 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 a write lyrics we want the whole band all six of us to be able to stand behind the lyrics and say that represents me so I'm representing five other guys okay but with this record I just have to represent one person and so it's just individualized like there's a song called Kenji um, I'm half Japanese my this song is kind of about the Japanese American experience during World War II uh, with internment. Thank you. Um, and then some more things like um, cigarettes, things like right now. They're just more personal stories on the on the record. Okay, and I was gonna say it's you're quite a storyteller on the album. Thank Tell you. a lot of stories Thank you. from first person perspective. Yeah, it's hot. Um, as well, let's talk about this because this is big, okay? You guys can't see it on the back, but having executive producer Sean Carter on your album is huge. <laughs> it's, it's huge because you guys are friends also. Uh -huh. um, but there's a lot of people out there, you know how it is with music these days. You know, everyone's trying to, is it a marketing scheme? Is it this or that? What right. do you say to the haters who, who kind of question that? Yeah, obviously, I mean, Jay is, he, he, he puts his name on what he puts his name on uh, with Def Jam because of the obvious relationship. Of course. But this isn't Def Jam. Right? Yeah. So how many times does Jay put his name on something outside of the company he's running? It's true. It doesn't happen very often. So that's why to me it's a special it's kind of a special nod to the you know, to me I hope that means that he appreciates the quality of the record. I know that when we were working on it, people asked me, Did he write any lyrics? Did he write any beats? Did what what happened with that? And the answer is no, he didn't actually. Um, that was kind of that's my job, you know okay, what I mean? Yeah. So what he did was when we were when I was writing songs, I would play him the songs, and he'd be that fresh ear. After I've listened to the song 500 times, he'd listen to it for the first time and say, "Okay, I'm hearing it for the first time. Should it be on the record or no? Okay. Does it need work or is it ready?" And and that's how we kind of built the record. Do you guys ever disagree? I mean, if Jigga says I don't know, you're like, "No, no, that track's I, done." Actually, one one funny story on that note. I asked him on that song, "Cigarettes." The song "Cigarettes" is um. It's a little, I mean, people say it's a little controversial, you know, whatever. Um, it's about how the hip-hop industry and the cigarette industry are actually very similar. <laughs> because they sell a little bit of a half-truth, you know what I mean? Like, but we don't, and what I mean in that is that, like, if the cigarette industry tells you that it's not harmful, come on, right? Yeah. Hip-hop industry, they all tell you they're gangsters. They got street cred, yeah. Come on. Now, everybody, I mean, everybody will agree that not everybody's telling the truth. Uh-huh. So... 
With the song, I was saying, you know, I know this is a true statement. I know the things I'm saying here are, you know, there's some of its opinion and some of its truth. And there's a little bit of sarcasm, too. So I asked Jay, you know, what do you think? Is it weird for the guy from Linkin Park to say these things on a record? You know, are people going to freak out on me and say, you know, why are you, who, who are you to say yeah. what that is? And his response to me was simply like, well, if you come from hip-hop, if you love hip-hop the way I know you do, yeah. th th you have every right to say that. Okay, that makes a lot right. of sense too. Man. Yeah, um, and what's the what's the feedback been like from the hip hop community themselves? Because you got you know when you get yeah. comment on a, on a on a track, right. it's like you know what I mean. Right. That's hip hop right there. So. I think I think it's been real good. I mean, yeah. like actually, some of our I think our best reviews have come from really credible underground hip hop uh, publications, websites, whatever. I mean, if you look at our if you go to fortminer.com right now. We've put up some of the things that have been said about the record from from different uh, people, and I mean, just go there right now. I mean, you'll see what people are saying about it. It's pretty. I'm, I'm flattered. I, I'm really excited that the hip hop community has embraced the record and and accepts it. So now that you put out uh, your solo album, uh, you've done anything with Linkin Park. What's the next big day you're looking forward to? Wow. Um, well, right now, actually, on this tour, while we're out, um, I've got a bus with studio equipment on it. Um, I'm working on new Linkin Park stuff. Um, they were asking. It's got, they were asking, can I put the album out on their birthday? <laughs> um, I have no control over that. We, yeah, December. Oh, well. Uh, the thing is, I want to. We want to get it out this year. We're we're, it's, we're going to get it out this year. Which, and 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 as soon as this tour is over, I'm going back home and writing more with the guys. Um, so excited about that. A couple other things we're excited about. Um, we've got a couple of artists who actually appear on the Fort Minor record who are putting out albums this year. They're on our label. That's Styles of Beyond and Holly Brook. So okay. look for those albums this year too. Okay, look out for those. Um, as well, another big day that's around the corner. Valentine's Day, man. That's, what are you doing for Valentine's That's Day? That's actually right after my birthday, so I'm always home for Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, seriously? Good. Just yeah. chilling? I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Yeah. Even if I did, it'd probably be a surprise, so I wouldn't want to blow it on okay. TV. You know okay. what I mean? Okay, okay. Um, we also have an audience question for you um, right here. Hi. Hi. I'm Monica. Hi. Um, my question is... What inspired the name Fort Minor? Like, why'd you call it Fort Minor? Oh, um, that's a great question. Actually, the funny thing about that is that um, I I know how easy it would be to like go, just come out with a record and say Mike Shinoda and put my name, my face on the yeah. cover, and you know, get beats by Timberland and <laughs> Neptunes and do all that. That's all. That's all possible. You know what I mean? In, in this world, you can do that, but. That's not. That's kind of not who I am. You know, I wanted to put the attention more on the music, more on the project as a whole, artistically. So, um, Fort Minor represents Fort represents the the more aggressive, heavier um, side of the record, and and Minor represents the opposite, the darker, um, the smaller side of the record. Because the album is actually very diverse. You know what I mean? It has all those different dynamics to it. Okay, it's a good question. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I was wondering if I could give you something. Sure. Yeah, yeah, come on up, what come is on it? up. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is something that um, you you and your music inspired me to draw, and it's um, Hey, Fort look Minor. at you. That's and nice. And I know how you're into, like, the graffiti. Yeah. And I wrote a verse at the, the top. It's um, my version of Remember the Name. Oh, great. You want to read it? Uh, okay. Well, it goes, um, this is 40% amazing, 60% crazy. Mix the beat to the rhythm, and you got Fort Minor blazing. From under the ashes, from the fire still burning. At the Phoenix, they rose and gave T-Dot some learning. It brought 10% luck and 20% skill. With the 50% concentrated power of will. Mix with 5% pleasure, 50% pain. Gave Toronto a reason to remember the name. Oh. Woo! That was really nice. Thanks a lot. Right. That's hot. Cool. That might be your next act right there. There it is. You never there know. it is. You never know. She's um, opening for us. Now, Boston. with the success you've had with Linkin Park, um, which is crazy, were you reluctant at all? Because, you know, independent projects have yeah. a way of backfiring sometimes. Well, you know what's funny, too, is that they call um, this type of project, sometimes they call it a vanity project. And I hate that. I mean, because that's not what this is about, you know? I mean, so in order to kind of get over that hump and make it obvious to people that it's not about doing that type of thing, you know, that's why I put the album together in the way that I did. It's a very personal record. Um, it kind of breaks the rules of a lot of hip-hop stuff right now without without moving away from hip-hop. I mean, you listen to it, it's obviously a hip-hop record. Yeah. It just breaks the rules a little bit. Yeah. It's good, though, man. Thank There's you. a lot of stuff that sounds the same. So if you don't have this record in your hip-hop head out there, pick it up and at least give it a listen. It's a good record. Turn it the other way for a minor.